More than a billion bucks is up for grabs tonight, and right now people across the country are buying those Mega Millions tickets, hoping to strike it rich, get that golden ticket. But in Alabama, one of the states where the lottery is illegal, people are crossing state lines for their billion-dollar dreams. Jiffy Smith manages TNT Beer and Tobacco in Ardmore, Tennessee. That's a convenience store right on that Alabama-Tennessee border. Um, and he joins us now. Hey, Jiffy. Happy Friday. Hi. Oh, I'm so Happy sorry. Friday. I said he. I said he. I'm so sorry. It's a she. Jiffy. Um, first of all, first of all, so with the lotto being illegal in Alabama, have people been flocking to your store for their chance at winning? I mean, how have you benefited from this? Uh, you know, we've been busy, but we usually stay busy anyways. And just as far as them flocking to our store, Alabama's across the street. So we, we kind of see them anyways. They're kind of where Ardmore, where we're at, is in two states and four counties. So we've okay. got, we're kind of the melting pot of everything around here. Uh how many people are you seeing coming a day to buy these tickets right now when when the stakes are so high and that pot is so big? Uh, I mean, we get several people a day. We stay pretty busy. Um, you can buy your tickets for draws out. Like, you can buy them in advance for a month. So a lot of people like to do that because, you know, some people just don't like getting out as much or the drive or, you know, whatever. But a lot of people buy them in advance, and we... You know, we're just pretty local. We see everybody. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of everybody. Yeah. Did you and your family, though, I'm curious, when you opened your store, did you and your family take into account the Alabama lotto rules uh, when you opened your doors or no? Uh, not really, because we're right here. Like I said, we were literally right on the border. The, the highway runs in front of our store, and uh, the yellow line marks the state line. So on this side, it's Tennessee. On that side, it's Alabama. It's something that we've kind of just always, we, you know, we've been used to it. It's always, it's always it's been that way. Yeah, yeah, since the beginning of time. Hey, but with it north of a billion dollars, 1.25, uh, I mean, excitement's up not only for the people who are playing, but it's got to also be up for, for you, too. Um, if y'all win, how do you plan on, on spending the money? Because the store gets a cut of the price, too. Uh, the store does in Tennessee. It's not a very large cut. It's a flat rate. I believe it's like twenty-five grand, fifty grand, something like that. It's not. It's not what you would think. But um, even still, we would in, You know, we'd split it with all the employees and, and do all that. And we're really big into rescues around here. We've Aww. got ten dogs between my mom and I. They come to work with us every day. Um, Is that what I'm hearing yapping? <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> we're known for having the dogs in town and. Yeah. Um, so we would probably just start our own rescue. I, you know, I'd love to take them all. Yeah. Oh, well, Jiffy Smith, I hope that y'all are the lucky store, the lucky location. Thank you for taking the time on your Friday mo morning to joining us. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah. I'm rooting for Jiffy I'm and her store. I really am. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.